And Sean's the only one we can talk to. Sean's still working on that fence. Yes, he is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. No shit, damn. <laughs> he didn't even hesitate. He damn. just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. And of course, as you say that, Herschel walks into the barn. Uh, I know there was another choice there. I could have said somebody shot someone. I didn't get to read the third, and the fourth is usually dot, dot, dot. Silence. Oh, look, there's an invisible wall in front of me. Watch as I walk nonchalantly into it. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah, advice is always helpful. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> I'll get my gun!
Only three of them, huh? I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I... <sighs> Duck or him has to be him. He helped me. Just, just that way. Sorry. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh, I want it. <laughs> Something about the birds chirping at the same time makes it sound so bad, so peaceful. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Damn. No! 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 Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Cleo. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits! We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up! We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the 
bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Uh. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh crap! <laughs> Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Oh. <laughs> Well, I guess a bullet to the head is pretty ending. I, I'm always in stunned silence during this game, though. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, uh, shut Dad! Up. Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. 
Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright. What's this? This, this, this. Yeah, and we should get him those pills. I might have pissed off someone with that, though. With the uh, whole conversation, I noticed in the middle I didn't. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Oh. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hopefully that, um, <laughs> engenders some goodwill between us. We Another can't energy let bar anything here. happen to Ducky. I know, hon. And, uh, Duck. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. Ice cream, I guess. He's talking about it being melted. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I'm guessing that was his grandparents or something like that. If he says, I didn't know them very well. He said his uh, parents owned store no, in Macon. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Oh, we definitely need one of those cards. Wait, what was that? The IT guy? No, I can't read it. It's too blurry. That's one thing I have to say about this. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. Well, that's great. Looks this. like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Food bank. Oh, that's what it says on the side. Guess I'll give you the last one. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Alright. Uh, nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. No batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. <laughs> Needs two. Thanks. Um, I wouldn't even really know what to look for. She's not a tech person, is she? That's not even tech. I would just say that's common sense. That that it needs batteries. Oh, battery. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Okay. One battery. Office. Where's the other battery? Oh. There. There you go. Alright. Batteries. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. 
This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Now... You had battery problems before. Ah, there you go. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh yeah, definitely not. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah, 